Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is one of the most dangerous snakes in North America. Found in the southeastern U.S., it holds the title of the largest rattlesnake, reaching up to 8 feet in length and weighing over 30 pounds. Its bold diamond-shaped markings and the distinct rattle at the end of its tail serve as a clear warning to stay away. Its venom is incredibly potent, capable of destroying tissue, causing internal bleeding and leading to organ failure if not treated in time. While medical advancements have reduced fatalities, a bite from an eastern diamondback is still a life-threatening emergency. Every year, around 7,000 to 8,000 people in the U.S. are bitten by venomous snakes, with 5 to 6 cases ending in death. The eastern diamondback, along with the western diamondback, is responsible for most of these fatalities. A serious incident in June 2023 highlighted how dangerous these snakes can be. When a hiker in Georgia was bitten by an eastern diamondback while reaching for his water bottle near a rocky trail. Despite immediate medical attention, he required extensive treatment and physical therapy due to severe muscle necrosis caused by the venom. For hikers, campers, and those living in rural areas, the risk of encountering an eastern diamondback is real. These snakes are masters of camouflage, blending into their surroundings making them easy to miss until it's too late. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is one of the most dangerous snakes in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. It is responsible for a high number of snake bites in the region, and its venom can cause severe medical emergencies. Growing over 4 feet long, the Western Diamondback is recognized by its diamond-shaped markings and the rattle at the tip of its tail, which it shakes as a warning. Its venom is a powerful mix of toxins that destroy flesh, cause internal bleeding, and can lead to organ failure. Even if a person survives, the bite can cause permanent damage, extreme pain, and even amputation. Anti-venom improves survival chances, but the aftermath of the bite is often life-changing. In December 2024, a 25-year-old wildlife influencer, David Humplett, was bitten while filming in Florida. The western diamondback struck his leg, injecting a massive dose of venom. Within minutes, his leg began to swell and he collapsed in agony. He was airlifted to a hospital and given 88 vials of anti-venom, barely making it out alive. Though he survived, the bite left his leg permanently damaged. People who hike, camp, or live in rural areas are at risk. The snake's natural camouflage makes it easy to miss until it's too late. Many victims are bitten when they accidentally step too close or try to kill the snake. Without immediate medical treatment, the venom can shut down organs and cause death. Gila Monster The Gila Monster is a venomous lizard found in the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. It's slow-moving, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. This thick, heavy lizard has black and orange bead-like scales and a powerful bite that delivers venom straight into its victim. Once it bites, it doesn't let go easily, chewing its venom deeper into the wound. The venom causes burning pain, swelling, dizziness, and even paralysis. It's not usually deadly, but it can cause serious complications, infections, and lasting nerve damage. The way it bites makes things even worse. Unlike snakes, which inject venom quickly, the Gila monster locks its jaws and holds on for minutes, ensuring as much venom gets into the bloodstream as possible. The longer it stays latched, the more severe the symptoms. Victims have reported feeling like their limbs were on fire, with pain that spreads through the entire body. In severe cases, the venom can cause heart problems and difficulty breathing. In February 2024, a Colorado man named Christopher Ward was bitten by his pet Gila monster while handling it at home. The lizard clamped onto his hand for over four minutes, injecting a huge dose of venom. At first, he ignored the pain and waited two hours before getting medical help. By the time he reached the hospital, his condition was getting worse. Four days later, he died. Doctors later discovered that the venom, combined with his pre-existing health issues, had caused his body to shut down. People at risk include hikers, reptile collectors, or anyone who tries to handle one. The Gila monster doesn't attack for no reason, but if it bites, it will cling on and keep pumping venom. Trying to rip it off only makes things worse, spreading the venom faster. If medical treatment is delayed, the venom can cause shock, seizures, respiratory failure, and in worst cases, death. Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse spider is a venomous spider found in the central and southern United States. It's small, about the size of a quarter, and has a violin-shaped marking on its back. It likes to hide in dark, undisturbed places like basements, closets, shoes, and storage boxes. Its bite doesn't always hurt at first, which makes it even more dangerous. Hours later, the venom starts destroying tissue, sometimes creating large, deep wounds that can take months to heal. In December 2024, a musician from Tucker, Georgia, was bitten by a brown recluse. At first, he thought it was just a bruise, but within hours, his condition got worse. 
The infection spread so fast that the doctors feared they would have to amputate his leg. He barely avoided surgery, but the damage was severe. This shows just how dangerous a bite can be if not treated quickly. Brown recluse bites rarely kill people, but they can still cause serious problems. The venom breaks down blood vessels and tissue, leading to skin ulcers, nausea, fevers, and muscle pain. Some people develop severe reactions, especially children, which can cause organ failure or anemia. In extreme cases, a bite can become life-threatening. Most people get bitten by accident when they put on clothes or shoes where a spider is hiding. The best way to avoid this is to shake out clothing, shoes, and blankets before using them, especially if they haven't been touched for a while. If bitten, getting immediate medical help is critical to avoid serious complications. The brown recluse hides in the shadows, waiting for the wrong move, and by the time someone realizes they've been bitten, it might already be too late. Black Widow Spider The Black Widow Spider is one of the most feared spiders in the U.S., and for a good reason. This small, jet-black spider with a bright red hourglass on its belly carries venom that is 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's. It hides in dark, quiet places, garages, basements, wood piles, and under outdoor furniture, just waiting for someone to reach in without realizing it's there. A bite from a Black Widow can cause agonizing pain, muscle cramps, nausea, sweating, and even trouble breathing. Some victims describe it as feeling like their bones are being crushed from the inside. Though deaths are rare, young kids, older adults, and those with weaker immune systems are at the highest risk. Without medical care, the venom can cause days of excruciating suffering, and in severe cases, it can even shut down the body completely. In 2024, a 7 year old woman in Arizona found out just how dangerous these spiders can be. While cleaning out her garage, she suddenly felt a sharp sting on her hand. At first, she ignored it, but within an hour, she was sweating, vomiting, and unable to move from the unbearable muscle cramps. The pain spread through her body like fire. She was rushed to the hospital, where doctors gave her pain medication and anti-venom, saving her life just in time. The scariest part is that black widows don't attack unless disturbed, but their favorite hiding spots are places people reach into without thinking. Grabbing an old box, picking up firewood, or slipping on a shoe that's been left outside could lead to an unexpected and dangerous bite. American Alligator The American Alligator is a powerful predator found in lakes, rivers, and swamps across the southeastern U.S. With bone-crushing jaws and a bite force stronger than a lion's, it is built to ambush and overpower anything that gets too close to the water. These massive reptiles, sometimes growing over 15 feet long, can move with lightning speed when striking their prey. In September 2024, an 84-year-old woman named Dolores Boppel was walking her dog near a pond in North Fort Myers, Florida, when a seven-foot alligator attacked. She managed to throw her dog to safety, but the alligator latched onto her leg and hand, tearing through muscle and bone. Struggling to stay out of the water, she fought against the crushing force of its jaws. She was eventually rescued and rushed to the hospital with serious injuries, but she was lucky to survive. The alligator was later captured and euthanized. Alligator attacks are rare, but when they happen, they are violent and deadly. Since 1948, more than 450 people in Florida alone have been bitten, and 30 have died. These predators hide just below the water's surface, nearly invisible, waiting for something to move too close. With a sudden burst of speed, they attack, clamping down with thousands of pounds of pressure, then dragging their victims into the water to drown. To avoid danger, people should stay away from the water's edge, especially in areas known for alligators. Pets should be kept on a leash, and no one should wade or swim in unfamiliar waters. Arizona Bark Scorpion The Arizona Bark Scorpion may be small, but it is one of the most venomous scorpions in the U.S. Found mostly in Arizona and parts of the Southwest, this light brown 3-inch creature has a sting that can cause excruciating pain, muscle spasms, numbness, and even breathing problems. While deaths are rare, a sting can be especially dangerous for young children, the elderly, or anyone with allergies. In 2013, a young child in Arizona was playing in the backyard when they accidentally disturbed a scorpion. It stung the child, and within minutes, symptoms worsened. The child experienced severe convulsions and struggled to breathe. Despite getting medical help, an unexpected allergic reaction made things worse, and the child did not survive. It was a heartbreaking reminder that while most people recover from scorpion stings, some can be deadly. Every year, around 20,000 people in Arizona call poison control because of scorpion stings. Most suffer from pain and numbness, but some develop serious reactions that require hospitalization. To avoid being stung, people should always check their shoes and bedding, seal up cracks where scorpions can get inside, and use a blacklight at night. Arizona bark scorpions glow under UV light, making them easier to spot. While most people will survive a sting, 
the pain alone is enough to make anyone wish they had been more careful. Bull Shark The bull shark is one of the most dangerous sharks in the U.S. Unlike most sharks, it can live in both saltwater and freshwater, meaning it is not only found in the ocean, but also in rivers and estuaries. It is known for being aggressive and often hunts in shallow, murky waters, the same places where people swim, surf, and fish. With powerful jaws and razor-sharp teeth, it can deliver a devastating bite, sometimes without warning. In October 2024, 28-year-old Cole Tashman was attacked by a bull shark while surfing at Batha Beach in Florida. The shark bit into his feet, leaving deep wounds as he struggled to paddle back to shore. His friends used surfboard leashes and tourniquets to stop the bleeding until paramedics arrived. Incredibly, this was the second time he had been attacked by a shark at the same beach. 11 years earlier, he was bitten by a black tip shark. His survival both times was pure luck. From 2000 to 2023, bull sharks have attacked at least 27 people in the U.S., with one attack leading to death. They are especially dangerous because they hunt close to shore and in fresh water, making encounters more common than with other large sharks. Staying safe means avoiding swimming at dawn or dusk, when sharks are most active. People should never swim in areas with murky water or near river mouths, where bull sharks most often hunt. Open wounds should always be covered since sharks can smell blood from miles away. Moose the moose is the largest land animal in North America, standing over 6 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 1,000 pounds. Despite their calm appearance, moose can be extremely dangerous. When they feel threatened or protective of their young, they will charge, trample, and even gore people with their powerful hooves and antlers. In May 2024, a 7 year old man in Homer, Alaska was killed while trying to take photos of two newborn moose calves. Their mother, feeling threatened, charged at him and fatally injured him before he could escape. This tragic attack is a reminder that moose are not harmless animals and can become aggressive when people get too close, especially during calving season. Each year, moose injure more people in Alaska than bears do. Many attacks happen when people accidentally startle a moose or try to approach them for photos. Moose have been known to trample people, break bones, and even kill when they feel cornered. They are also a major hazard on roads. In the U.S., moose vehicle collisions cause around 440 human deaths per year because they are so tall. A crash often sends the massive animal crashing through the windshield, making these accidents especially deadly. Keeping a safe distance is the best way to avoid a deadly encounter. If a moose pins its ears back, raises the hair on its neck, or stomps its hooves, that is a sign it is about to charge. People should back away immediately and never try to outrun it. Moose may look calm, but they are incredibly strong and can turn a peaceful moment into a life-threatening attack in seconds.